Hi, I'm Mike Wolf, Valuation Services Partner at the CPA firm of Trout, Ebersole & Groff. And I'm Brian Wassell, M&A Partner at Trout, Ebersole & Groff. Mike and I are both heavily involved in helping our clients through the exit planning process. Mike, when should business owners start thinking about exit planning? If you're a business owner and plan on retiring someday, exit planning has to be on your radar. It usually starts in midlife when you start giving serious thought about how you will exit the business and who will perpetuate it when you're no longer there. One of the common mistakes we see is business owners waiting too long to plan. Exiting a business takes years to prepare for and waiting until the last minute usually has severe negative consequences. Brian, you've assisted with many businesses' uh, transitions in your career. What do you see as some of the key questions business owners have when exiting a business? Thanks, Mike. There are five key questions that owners should contemplate. The first question is, who will take over what I do? This is a big concern for many business owners and is important for the continuation of the business. Management succession should come before the ownership succession, which means there needs to be an effective management team in place before the owner exits the business. The second question is, who will I sell my ownership to? Who, who we typically see are buyers that are key employees, customers, family members, strategic buyers, or outside financial buyers. The best case scenario is someone in your industry who is a strategic buyer who will fold your operation into their company. Many companies may want to consider the possibility of an employee stock ownership plan, otherwise known as an ESOP. An ESOP is a viable way to allow existing shareholders a liquidity event and also to sell their shares to other employees of the company. The third question is really crucial, and that is, why be okay in retirement with the after-tax cash I received from selling my ownership interest? Retirement usually goes hand in hand with exiting a business, and an owner wants to make sure that the after-tax cash is sufficient to hold him through their retirement years. Ryan, I'd like to point out that the key to maximizing that after-tax cash is to optimize the value of the business through long-range planning. This can't be done at the very last minute, which many owners tend to do when they decide to retire or sell. Typically, we'll see business owners start their exit planning within about a year from when that event is actually going to happen, but it takes many years to be able to optimize the value of the business before exiting. At Trout & Brasil & Groff, we specialize in helping business owners optimize the value of their business in preparation for a successful exit. Thanks, Mike, for that excellent point. The fourth key question is, will my employees be taken care of? For many business owners, this is a point because of certain key employees help build the business to where it is today, and owners feel an obligation to take care of those employees. This can be accomplished through employment contracts, deferred compensation plans, and specific negotiation with the right buyer. Lastly, you will need to determine your priorities when selling your business. No matter what your goals are, it's important to know them in advance so that you will be know you are willing to negotiate on during the sale of your business. Mike, with all these questions to contemplate, how do you suggest a business owner get started on exit planning? Well, Brian, a business owner can get started simply by having an initial conversation with their trusted advisors, including those here at Trout, Ebersole & Groff. We will help you form your exit planning team, giving you valuable input and guiding you through the entire process to a successful exit. Remember, Exit planning is not an event, it's a process. For more information or assistance with exit planning, mergers and acquisitions, or business valuation, contact us at troutcpa.com.